We begin with the deadly building collapse in Florida. Crews spent much of the day putting out a fire in the rubble that hindered search efforts. So far, five people are confirmed dead and 156 are still missing. CBS 2's Elise Preston has the very latest. As rescuers hold out hope at the collapsed Surfside condo building, Saturday brought more grim news. Today, our search and rescue teams found another body in the rubble. And as well, our search has revealed uh, some human remains. Forensic experts will use DNA samples already collected from family members to quickly identify the remains. Officials reported making progress battling a fire at the disaster site that has been hampering rescue efforts. Our top priority continues to be search and rescue and saving any lives that we can. The Spiegel family is searching for any news about their mother, 65-year-old Judy Spiegel. I know my mom is a fighter. I know she loves us. I know she doesn't want to give up. As investigators work to determine what caused the collapse, an engineer's report from 2018 found abundant cracking in concrete columns, beams, and walls in the building's parking garage and major structural damage to a concrete structural slab caused by failed waterproofing. But the report did not indicate those issues could lead to a collapse. Surfside Mayor Charles Burkett says he's working on a plan to temporarily relocate residents of a sister building. For those that are frightened and concerned, I wanted to make sure that they had options. Miami-Dade County officials say they're reviewing the safety of buildings 40 years or older. Elise Preston, CBS News. And tonight, there's concern about another building just a block from the collapse. It was built around the same time by the same developer. The mayor of Surfside does want to evacuate residents at this time, but he says it will be voluntary. Stay with CBS2 and CBSN New York for updates on the search and rescue happening in Surfside, Florida.